What's up guys, Axis here, and today I'm going to be doing the second part of my soft lighting tutorial in uh, Octane for Cinema 4D. So if you haven't seen the first part, in the top right there'll be an annotation card link to the original where I show you how to do the modeling. But in this episode we're going to be uh, focusing on the materials and texturing of this whole scene. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but if you uh, haven't really used materials all that much, I'm probably going to be running through all the different parameters and stuff you can mess about with, just so you can create something unique. Um, so yeah, let's just first get started by texturing this little uh, main C part by going to create shader, Cinema 4D, Octane and Octane Material. And from here, we can create this as a glossy material, which what uh, it was originally. If you haven't seen the original image, I'll have it up on the screen, uh, probably at the start of the video, so you've probably already seen it. Um, but that's what we're going for here, that's the final result we're going for. So I'm going to go to the index, reduce it all the way to 1 to make it completely reflective. I'm going to go to diffuse, colour to black, specular, around 0.6, which will make it darker. And then uh, I'm going to go to the bump, and this is where we're going to texture it by going to C4 D Octane and Image Texture. Now in here, we can grab the original material I use, which I'll probably have in the description. Obviously I didn't make it or anything, so all uh, all rights go to whoever actually created it, not mine. Um, as you can see, it's very high quality, uh, which is why I chose it. I don't know if it's tileable or seamless or whatever, but um, for what we're doing it will work fine. I'm going to drag onto here. I'm not doing uh, lighting here, so I'm just making sure that the projection is correct. As you can see, UV mapping works absolutely fine for this, so you don't have to mess about with that. Uh, and now we can go for the class material, which is going to be a specular. Now if we go into bump, I'm going to add a turbulence. I'm going to show you some of these parameters. Power basically acts as uh, a kind of opacity, I guess. Same with gamma, works as a sort of opacity or power. Um, and offset obviously is just going to change what you're looking at. Um, because obviously it's procedural, procedural material, so basically um, it can be scaled up, it can be scaled down, it's like a vector image without losing any quality. Octaves, you can think of that as kind of segments of a material. So more of them makes it more complex, less of it makes it uh, less complex. And I kind of like, sort of, 9 looks fine I think. I'm going to drag that on to the uh, sphere in the middle. And let's see if that will actually load in. Well, I had to refresh it but there we go. Um, it looks fine. And then in the middle you can see where we're going to put our light source, which we'll do right now. C4 the octane and we're going to use a diffuse so just leave it default go to emission texture black body emission and we're going to check on surface brightness which is in my opinion the best one because otherwise you get a lot of noise um, I'd recommend turning up the sampling rate as well which will just focus some of the samples more onto the lighting but obviously if you're doing a still you're probably going to crank up the uh, the master samples in here anyway so, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter, but for uh, videos, it will matter. Um, temperature, you can think of that as kind of like the uh, the light color. But obviously, this is just controlling the temperature. So, down is hot, so we can go from completely neutral white to a kind of orange to then a, a yellowy. Uh, a yellow and then an orange and then completely red. I don't really like reds in like Octane for some reason. The color looks like really, I don't know. It just it it always makes everything noisy, so I don't tend to use uh, reds for like videos. But if it's a still, reds will work fine. Or if you have like a five Titans, then you can uh, probably crank that up um, without taking much of a performance. It um, and then power. Self-explanatory, it's just the power of the light, what it's going to project onto. 100 looks fine. Uh, and if you actually want to change the colour completely, what we'll do is we click up here and then we go to distribution, RGB, spectrum. And 
and as you can see I can change it to some color like a some green minty green color like magenta or something anything will go I'm just gonna keep it neutral 6500 uh, on surface brightness checked and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a glass material for the tube uh, which is just going to be completely neutral, there's, no, there's going to be nothing added to this, it's just completely just the stock specular material. Refresh that real quick, and there we go. Obviously there's nothing reflecting off this, there's no HDRI, there's no uh, sunlight parameters in here. So it's not going to make a difference, uh, you're not going to see any reflections at the moment, uh, apart from reflections of the material and the background itself. Uh, what else is there? There is the, the gold. Now, uh, I don't really like using golds because uh, a lot of the time that I use them, they'll have a green tint. So what I'll do is I'll go into uh, the Octane Live database and steal a material from the metal section. So if we go here, metal. If you haven't used this before, it's really, there's a lot of good stuff in here. It's quite, um, it's quite cool. Uh, sometimes some materials are missing. But a lot of the time, you'll find some, uh, if, you know, if you can't find a material, you don't know how to create one, you'll probably be able to find one in LiveDB that matches what you're looking for. Uh, I like this gold here, because it's kind of neutral, it doesn't have that green tint like the, uh, the gold here. So if I drag this onto this little cylinder here, not really a cylinder, but you know. Uh, and then also I added it to the... Uh, the two Tauruses. And if I refresh that real quick, you can see that we have uh, the gold on all of those. One last thing is that the uh, the background should have a, a really soft color on it. As you can see, I've already imported the original material. Um, surprisingly enough, the original actually looks very similar to this because I made the nick effects have a gold tint to it uh not a gold a pink tint to it so that's the original there that's the that's the raw render and then if i just compare this to the uh the final you can see it's got a lot of pink which is just due to the the nick effects and the color correction that i did um so yeah it's quite cool how you can just completely change the look of an image even after the fact so yeah uh the beige is working fine for me um, because I'm going to colour correct this anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably leave a hex to this in the uh, description. Or you can just copy these parameters here. I'll leave it there for a second. Okay, so there we go. So now all we have to do is the colour correction and the lighting, which I'll do next time. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment with your feedback and I'll leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.